So one of the exciting new features in uh, LightMaps version 5 are dynamic maps. Um, in previous versions we already introduced a dynamic list feature, um, which could help you to dynamically populate a view based on rules uh, on discovered properties. For example, show me all servers that start with a particular prefix. Uh, we have extended this functionality based on customer requests to uh, dynamic maps. So if, if you've created a um, map or what we call in live maps a drawing view type uh, and use for example uh, a background image or you've created a network or application topology uh, natively in live maps. Uh, the only thing to populate items in previous versions was to drag and drop objects from operations manager on the map. Um, in version 5 you also are able to define um, dynamic rules. So for example you can say on this map I only want to see computers where the DNS name starts with, in this case NL. Um, and uh, what happens if a object that is defined in this rule and has not yet been placed on the map, it will appear in the unplaced members section. So you can build your maps <coughs> based on the rule and um, if future uh, objects are discovered because a new server is added to your environment and it matches the rule, it will automatically be placed in the unplaced member section. You can then drag and drop um, the item on the map and it will disappear from the uh, unplaced member section. And I've, I've used a rec example here. Um, we have some customers that can detect, for example, if uh, has extended the discovery of operations manager to uh, enter rec information. Uh, if you go to blog.savision.com you, you can also find a blog article that will tell you how to extend a server object in operations manager with the rec location if you have stored it in a CMDB. And um, that combination will allow you to, for example, create uh, dynamically populated rec views. So let's have a look at this example in the uh, Operation Manager console. Um, so users will always have the access to the uh, items that are on the map and the other items are in the unplaced members section but they are also full functional. So you can also start the Help Explorer, Performance View and, and then any other view to it. Let me demonstrate another uh, scenario where you could use the dynamic uh, map for what I will do, I will create some um, views based on IP subnet information. Uh, so and for that I will use the site and subnet wizard. Uh, what we will do here, we will connect to Active Directory and load the site and subnet uh, information that are configured in Active Directory. And what this wizard will do, it will create a view per site. And in every view I want to see uh, some objects that have discovered IP information and that are matched within that particular subnet. So let's add some demo objects to this wizard. Uh, let's finish the wizard. So it will create a view for every site and it's trying to match all objects uh, that are uh, within a specific subnet of that uh, site view. So if we for example open the dynamic list for Amsterdam we see that we see all uh, matched objects within the Amsterdam subnet and new in version 5 is the ability to convert that to a uh, dynamic drawing. So you can uh, easily use the site and subnet wizard to create all your site views. And the next step could be to create some more um, informational drawings with live maps. So for that we convert it to a dynamic map. And well we start with an empty map and every object in the unplaced member section and from here you can start building your maps. And if any new object uh, is matched to the rules defined for this view, 
again, it will automatically appear in the unplaced member section and the only thing you need to do is to drag and drop that on the map itself. The big advantage of this uh, dynamic map is that if new objects are found, they are directly visible to everybody that is looking at the map, but they, they also become part of the um, health calculation of that specific view. So if a new objects go to criti in a critical state, uh, the roll-up state of the view will also be in a critical state. So it will directly be added and associated to that uh, specific view. So this was a very quick introduction into uh, the dynamic map feature in LiveMaps version 5. Thank you for watching.